Well, hi, and welcome to this issue of Proven Principles. Today we're going to talk to you about the science of age lock technology. Now, age lock is an extraordinary new technology in anti aging, and I want to take a few minutes to try to explain to you just the basic fundamentals as to what makes this new technology literally something that our competitors will not be able to follow for perhaps 20 to, to 30 years. Now, it's going to start off by just with the science. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but I want you to understand the basic biology. Now, I'm not a scientist. Uh, I'm not an expert by any means. I've sat in some of the lectures of some of the top leading anti-aging scientists in the world, and uh, this is how I kind of made it simple to understand for you and I. Uh, and uh, this will be very helpful for you to explain to, to new customers and maybe even play this video for new customers coming on so they can understand this basic concept. So first, let's, let's start with uh, the human cell. So uh, your body is made up of... Uh, literally trillions of cells and those cells look something like this and inside that cell you have, uh, this is a cell, your nucleus and inside your nucleus it holds your DNA and the DNA is literally the, the, the blueprint of you and I. Now over the last 30, 40 years scientists have decoded the human genome and they have discovered that the human uh, DNA is uh, made up of approximately 25,000 genes. And those genes make you, you, and they make me, me. Everything that's unique about you and I comes from our genes. And we inherit those from our parents, our, our grandparents, our great-grandparents. In fact, you are the sum total of your gene pool for the last thousands uh, and thousands of years. Now, previously, scientists believed that this human genome these genes you inherited and you could not influence them. If you had the diabetes in your family bloodline and your, and your uh, parents or grandparents, then it was likely you were going to have diabetes. Uh, if you had, uh, gentlemen, if you're, you're balding father or grandfather, then you were going to inherit those same genes. We've all been to the doctor and they've asked us, you know, is there any heart disease in your, in your family history? Is there any diabetes? Is there any uh, cancer in your family history? They're looking for a correlation that that this may also cause you to have the same problem so they can keep an eye for it. Well, some scientists in Sweden started to ask some very interesting questions. And that question was, what about identical twins? Identical twins at birth are born exactly the same. I mean, they're clones of each other. They came from the same cell, divided. And, uh, but over time, they start to change. One might run faster than the other. One may get, uh, you know, might be right brain, the other is left brain. One of them might perhaps uh, get their first, a tooth first. Uh, one might have different uh, eyeglasses than the other. One might get a wrinkle first, a gray hair first. One might get cancer while the other doesn't get cancer. So what explained this? Because they started out with exactly the same genes. And scientists discovered that these genes are actually controlled, and this is a little bit oversimplified, but they're controlled by little switches, which they called epigenes, E-P-I-G-E-N-E-S. And these epigenes, or the science of epigenetics is absolutely fascinating. In fact, I'd like you to go to Google, spend a couple of minutes uh, and go and, uh, and Google epigenetics and go and spend a few minutes just learning about this incredible new science. In fact, this science literally is the world is flat, the world is round. It's a whole new paradigm in science, especially to do with, with, uh, with human nutrition. Now these genes, and again, this is a little bit oversimplified, these genes can either be on or they could be off, or they could be somewhere in between. Uh, we call it dimmed. Let me give you a real simple example, and this isn't a clinical example, it's just my example, but uh, I've got a gray hair, and in fact, I've got a few gray hairs. Why is that one hair gray and not all of my hair gray at the same time? Well, uh, your hair is made of cells. Those cells are uh, controlled by the genes, uh, which tell them what, what that cell, they, they tell that cell what to be, and in this case, the genes that control the hair color, the pigmentation of my hair, they got turned off. And the question of epigenetics is, if they could be turned off, could they be turned back on again? And uh, it's extraordinary. So let me now uh, say that we didn't discover epigenes as a company. We didn't discover genes themselves, of course. Uh, we didn't discover cells. What we did is we partnered with one of the top anti-aging scientists in the world. Uh, a group of scientists from a company called LifeGen. And I'd like you to go Google them, Google them as well because LifeGen is an extraordinary group of geneticists uh, that have had alkylates uh, throughout the scientific community. In fact, they uh, have published over 300
100 clinical papers uh, in human nutrition with respect to aging and the aging process. And what they have done, which is unique to what any other group of scientists have done in the world, is they have created kind of an, a Google search engine, an algorithm, if you like, to identify which genes are to do with what. So which of these 25,000 genes are to do with your eyes, your liver, your kidneys, your skin? Uh, and they have been able to tell us, as a company, that of the 25,000 genes, approximately 160 of them have to do with your skin. And so for us as a company, we were able to go for the first time ever, literally, and say, let's look at these 160 genes, let's create a formula and see if we can turn on or turn off these little epigenetic tags to see if we can get the skin behaving like it did or expressing itself like it did when it was younger. So for example, some of these genes have to do with hydration. Some of them have to do with pigmentation. Some have to do with collagen, some have to do with elastin. And so we've been able to create a formula after more than 1,200 attempts to it actually turns on the collagen, turns on the elastin, turns on hydration, and turns off the pigmentation, the discoloration we get in our skin when we're younger, or, sorry, as we get older. And uh, this is an extraordinary uh, example uh, of a product. So this is, is culminated in a product called the AgeLock Transformation System, and I'm sure you've seen this product. Uh, I'll show it to you here. The transformation system, I, I guess, looks like any other product you'd see in a pharmacy or department store. They're little, little jars with cream of some sort in them. But the transformation system, really, the formula, the recipe, is totally unique. No one else in the world is able to look and identify which genes, so they haven't been able to create a product that actually does what this product does. Not only does it help to perhaps reverse some signs of aging, lines and wrinkles, discoloration, and etc., but also literally helps to help those cells as they're behaving like they did when they're younger to repair themselves faster than they break down. And so if you can repair faster than you can break down, then literally you can start to slow the aging process. Now, if we had a product that could actually slow or in some ways even stop the aging process, can you imagine how exciting that could be? Now, let's talk about this as a simple analogy. Uh, I like analogies because they help people understand really what's happening. So imagine for a second we had a leaky home. What might we see? We might see uh, some discoloration in the plaster. That would be a sign of the, discolor uh, of, the, of the leak. We might see some cracks. We might even see some, uh, some sagging, if you like. Uh, and I love that analogy because it's exactly what happens to us as we age. We get cracks, we get discoloration, we get sagging. So if I painted over that surface, that, that ceiling with a leak, with the cheapest paint or the most expensive paint I can find, does it actually fix the problem? Well, the answer is no. Of course not. It'll make it look good temporarily, but as soon as the rain comes or if it's a leaky pipe, it'll come back again relatively quickly. I've just described to you every single skincare product in the world today. Whether it be the cheapest product in the supermarket or the most expensive exclusive brands with huge price tags in the department store, none of those products actually fix the leak. For the first time with our AgeLock transformation system, with the help of LifeGen, our exclusive partners, and their gene technology, we have been able to, for the first time, go and reset these genes so the clusters of genes start to behave as they're younger again. In fact, what we've been able to do is fix the leak. Now, this is very, very far from what our competitors have done. And it's extraordinary. Now, this goes one step further. And so what uh, we've now started with our partners, LifeGen, to ask, let's start to go internally inside the body. Of course, everything you see on the outside has culminated from the inside. And uh, the first step is they said, let's look at the mitochondria. Now, you might want to go to YouTube and do a Google on mitochondria. It'll give you a much better example than I'm going to give you. But the mitochondria, they sit outside of your nucleus, and they literally are the little powerhouses, the furnaces that convert food to energy. And so as we're young, these little mitochondria are in abundance, and they're very efficient inside of your cells. And as you eat, they convert that food into what's called ATP. Don't get too technical, uh, but that ATP is turned into energy for your cell. Without efficient mitochondria, your cells don't have the right amount of energy, and they just simply don't perform well. We start to see that we eat more, we get less energy. As we get older, these mitochondria actually shrink uh, and, uh, and, and may even be eliminated from the cell. 
And so what we've been able to do with LifeGen is let's see how many mitochondria uh, are in the cell. And the, the, the genes that affect mitochondria are approximately 52. Those 52 genes that affect mitochondria function, the RIA, uh, are, are, are critical to health and well-being. Now, knowing there's 52 genes that control mitochondria function, we have been able to create a formula called age-lock vitality. And age-lock vitality uh, is not a miracle product. It's nothing that's extraordinary. It's not some kind of cure. It simply is a product that is able to reset and help that mitochondria behave like it did when it was younger again. Now, if that mitochondria can behave like it was younger again, can express itself and, and perform better, well, guess what? Your cells can start to behave in a way they should. They can start to repair themselves. And when those cells start doing that, all sorts of things start working better in the body. And we're not here to make clinical claims or magic cures, but we have seen some extraordinary results with people who've been using the age lock vitality. Now, our claim is very simply that the age lock vitality will help you have greater physical energy. In fact, the clinical studies suggest a 25% increase in your levels of glycogen in the muscles. If you went and did some push-ups, you know, after so many, you're going to find that you just don't have any more energy to do one more. And that is the glycogen stores being worn out in the muscles. The second area is brain function. It will light up the brain to, uh, to just literally start performing like back in your 20s again. Uh, who would you think would like that to happen? And then lastly, this part has an incredible result with your libido, your sexual drive. You will actually see quite an incredible result, both men and female, in the area uh, of the bedroom. And so uh, we're very, very excited about these three things. But you're going to find all sorts of things start to get better when mitochondria start be behaving uh, better in the cells and those cells can perform well. This is basically, in a nutshell, the age lock story. Uh, what you need to know is that there's no other competitor in the world which is going to be able to do what we're doing because LifeGen, our exclusive partner, has identified these genes. No one else really knows which genes do what. So let's give an example of why no competitor can follow us. Well, there's 26 letters in the English alphabet, and those 26 letters make up about a quarter of a million words. Uh, now, imagine we didn't understand English or didn't know what the alphabet letters stood for. We're, we've come from, a, from, a, from another planet or another country, and we're sitting here in a room looking at those letters like squiggly lines, wondering what they mean. How easy would it be to make up a word or to combine those letters into words which combine into sentences or paragraphs? Uh, it would sound impossible. Well, geneticists aren't working with, with, with 26 letters. They're working with 25,000 letters. And there are literally trillions upon trillions of different combinations that these 25,000 different genes might combine to give you those different functions in, in, in your body. And so it's going to take time, 20, 25, 30 years before any competitor uh, can literally do what we, we've done. Even with hundreds of scientists working together, it's going to take time. So that's the age lock story. I hope that's been helpful for you. I hope you can share this information and let consumers know what makes age lock different. You know, uh, it, it's basically we're able to go to the source of aging uh, as opposed to dealing with the signs of an aging or just dealing with the surface. Hope this has been helpful for you. I wish you great success in the future and uh, bye for now.